friends, my name is Andrea. I'm a librarian at the High School branch of the Baltimore County Public Library. And I'm here in these magical woods looking for a unicorn. Would you like to help me? I don't know about you, but I love a good story and adventure. And I'm very excited that this year's summer reading challenge is Imagine Your Story. No unicorns are said to be rare and elusive, and it may be difficult to find one today, but let's try. So let's talk about unicorns. A unicorn is a famous creature of legend and a mystery of nature. Oh, you don't know what a legend is? I'll tell you. Legends, fables, myths, folklore, and fairy tales are all stories. Stories that are told and shared from person to person and passed down through the centuries. Some people believe legends are true. Others believe legends teach a lesson, like the stories of Aesop's fables. We're looking for a unicorn named Glenco Nifty, who we've heard may live somewhere in Baltimore County. Let's keep looking. The legend of the unicorn is a very old one and is told in many countries like China and India and across continents like Europe and Africa. Unicorns are also featured in artwork throughout the world and in royal coats of arms and heraldry. The unicorn is often described as a white horse-like creature with a single horn on its forehead. This special horn is said to have magical powers such as protection from poison or purifying water. Because the horn was considered magical, it was much sought after but unicorns, being rare and elusive, were not easy to find. Instead, the long horn of the narwhal whale, a creature sometimes called the unicorn of the sea, was often used. In one famous example, the royal throne of Denmark was said to be made of unicorn horns, but in truth, it was made of narwhal horns. So is Nifty near the stream? I haven't seen her here either, but perhaps we'll come across the Loch Ness Monster. Have you heard of the Loch Ness Monster? This is another legendary and mythical creature that is said to live in the lakes or lochs of Scotland. Scotland is a part of the United Kingdom and has a rich history of folklore. Did you know the unicorn is the official animal of Scotland? The Scots believe the unicorn to be the strongest of all animals wild and fiercely independent, and only a virtuous maiden could capture and tame it. Let's try another location to search for our unicorn. I think we're getting close. No luck yesterday, but look! At last, we found the rare and elusive unicorn, and she's just beautiful. Let's go meet her. Hi everyone, this is Andrea from the Pikesville Library of Baltimore County Public Library. And I am here with Tammy Monaco and a very rare, mythical, magical creature. This is Glencoe Nifty. The unicorn. She's a rare Welsh thoroughbred unicorn and we're here in the magical ancient forests of Upper Co. Tammy, who some call the mother of unicorns, captured and tamed this beautiful magical creature when she was just a young unicorn and together they live a happy life atop the mystical Mount Monaco along with a sassy red pony named Sparky, a spotted pot pig named Smitty, and two black and white tuxedo cats named Silo and Willis. It wasn't easy taming Naughty Nifty. Others had tried and failed many times, and it seemed Nifty would remain a wild, fiercely independent girl, tamed by no one. Until the day that Tammy won her over, using kindness, love, and lots of apples, peppermints, and ginger snaps. Even when Nifty was naughty, Tammy still loved her more than anything, 
and Nifty loved her just as much in return. I'd say that's magic. Now Nifty spends her days grazing the fields and watching the butterflies and birds as the wind sighs through the tall grass. On especially hot summer days, she likes to dip her sparkly hooves in the cool forest stream, and at night, she frolics with the fireflies and fairies under the light of the full moon. I love looking for Nifty and hearing her story. If you imagined a story, what would it be? What kind of unicorn would you tame? And how would you tame one? What would your unicorn look like? What would you name it? Where would it live and what would it eat? Would it have special or magical powers? You get to decide all of that and more when you imagine your own story this summer. Thank you for joining me today. What fun we had, and you were so helpful in our search for Nifty the Unicorn. Remember, the many mysteries of nature still await your discovery. Search the library catalog or databases to read and learn about unicorns and many more fantastical creatures, legends, and myths. <laughs>